Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering Tutor. In this video, I am going to discuss some most important questions from surveying and I will explain them as well. This video is going to be very much helpful for your preparation for a competitive exams like SSC Junior Engineer, GATE, or RBJE and other State Public Service Commission Junior and Assistant Engineer exams. So let's start this video. Number one question, number of satellites involved in the orbit for the GPS survey technique, 14, 24, 34 and 44 are the options. So the correct answer for this case is the total number of survey, uh, sorry, total number of satellites used in GPS survey technique is 24. And here is the explanation or concept, whatever you say. Totally six orbits are there and in H orbits, there are four satellites. Okay. So totally six multiplied by four is equal to 24 satellites are involved in GPS survey technique or GPS satellite constellation. So here correct answer is 24. Which of the following instrument is used for centering the theodolite in windy condition? Cross stop, optical plummet, optical square, spirit level. So when there is a high wind, we cannot use plumb bob. We generally use plumb bob for centering purpose. But when there is a high wind, the plumb bob will keep rotating or moving here and there because of the, that high wind pressure. So in that situation, we need to use some alternate device and that device is optical plummet. So remember this, when there is a strong wind, we use optical plummet in place of plumb bob for centering purpose. Now optical square is used for setting a right angle and cross stop is used to measure angle and altitudes. Number of links in 20 meter metric chain is, this is very easy questions. I have repeatedly posted about this in my Instagram page. So if you are regularly following my Instagram post, you must be knowing the correct answer for this question. So here correct answer for this 20 meter metric chain is 100. And here is the references. You can see that for 30 meter length metric chain, total links are 150. For 20 meter metric chains, it is 100. For engineer's chain, that is 100 feet length, there is total 100 links. For gunter's chain, total length is 66 feet and total links is 100. For revenue chain, length is 33 feet and total links are 16. So remember this charts. Calculate the length of one division of the vernier scale. If the least count of the combination of main and vernier scale is 0.02 mm. The least count of the main scale is 1 millimeter. So here least count of main scale and the combined scale is given. Now we need to find the length of one division of the vernier scale. So options are given. So here you need to remember this basic formula that length of one division of vernier scale is equal to least count of main scale minus least count of the combination of main and vernier scale. So in this case or in this particular problem, least count of main scale is given that is 1 mm and least count of combined scale or combination of main and vernier scale is given that is 0.02 mm. So we simply subtract 0.02 from 1 and we will get the answer and here answer is 0.98 mm. So just remember this formula. Question number 5. The principle of working of optical square is based on double reflection, double refraction, reflection, refraction. So these are the four options. So those who have seen the optical square diagram, they must be knowing the correct answer. And the correct answer for this case is double reflection. Let me explain it. Here is a typical diagram of optical square. You can see there are two mirrors given. This is one mirror and this is another mirror. Okay. And the angle between these two mirrors is fixed. That is 45 degree. Okay. So suppose here is a, some object. So the light starts from this point and it re reflected here in the first mirror. And then that reflected light again reflected on the second mirror. So there are double reflection. One reflection is here and another reflection is here. And then finally it reaches to the eye or the viewer. Okay. So we can see the angle between this, this incident ray and this reflected ray is obviously 90 degree. Okay. So that's why it is called double reflection principle. So if this angle is like 
30 degree then the angle between these two will be double of that angle so here if it is 30 degree then this angle will be that means the angle between incident ray and reflected ray will be double of that angle that means if 30 degree is here then the angle between these two ray will be simply 60 degree so remember this concept question number 6 an angle of 45 degree with a chain line may be set out with so if you want to set a 45 degree angle which one of this instrument or device you need to use optical square open cross star french cross star or prismatic square so the correct answer for this case is french cross star so french cross star is used for setting 45 degree angle as well as 90 degree also but the rest of the instrument optical square open cross star and prismatic square these are used only to set 90 degree angle okay so remember this Invert tapes are made of an alloy of nickel and steel, copper and steel, tin and steel, aluminium and steel. So this is also a very simple question. The correct answer will be steel or steel or nickel. You can remember it like that. Steel. So steel and nickel. So here steel is 64% the maximum portion and 36% is nickel. So invert is a alloy of steel and nickel. So remember this. Question number 8 every 20 meter chain should be accurate to within plus minus 2 mm plus minus 5 mm plus minus 8 mm and none of the above so here you need to know the tolerance limit of h is h uh, chain like 20 meter 30 meter or whatsoever so here is a ready made reference for you you can note it down or you can take the screenshot that for 5 meter chain the tolerance is plus minus 3 mm the same for 10 meter chain for 20 meter chain it is plus minus 5 mm and for 30 meter chain it is plus minus 8 mm calculate the number of division of the main scale that is equal to the 8 division of the extended vernier now we need to understand this question first that what is extended vernier and what is the formula for extended vernier so here is the formula for extended vernier that n division of the vernier scale is equal to 2n minus 1 division of the main scale. You just need to remember this formula only. Okay. That n division of vernier scale is equal to 2n minus 1 division of the main scale. So here the number of division for vernier scale is given 8. So 8 number of division of the extended vernier is given. So we need to find the number of division for the main scale. So here n is equal to 8. So simply 8 division of vernier scale will be 2 into 8 minus 1. So 2 into 8 means 16 minus 1. Is equal to 15 you just need to put n is equal to 8 in this formula and you will get the answer that is 15 now before moving towards our final questions if this video is anyway helpful to your preparation or revision whatever it is then please do like this video and subscribe to this channel to motivate me further to upload this kind of videos and if uh, you can uh, if you really enjoying this video you can comment down below the video that whether the question levels are easy or do I need to uh, include more uh, standard questions? Okay. So if you comment down below this video, it will help me to make uh, more videos uh, and I will think about that what kind of question I should, I need to include in these videos. Okay. Because your feedback will be helpful for me to improve further. So now let's move to the final question. The distance between two brush rings in a surveyor chain is now first we need to understand what is surveyor chain. So if you know the correct answer of what is surveyor chain, then you must be getting the correct answer also, uh, correct options here. So surveyor chain is basically Gunter's chain or Guntur's chain, whatever you say. And we know that length of surveyor chain or Guntur chain is 66 feet. We have already seen in earlier question that length of surveyor chain or Guntur chain is 66 feet. And the number of links in this chain is 100. So, distance between each link will be 66 by 100, that is 0.66 feet is equal to 20 semi. So, here correct answer will be 20 semi. So, that's it for today. Please do like this video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any kind of suggestion for me to improve the quality of the videos, you can comment down below this video. This will help me to make a more quality content for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. All the best.